The entire universe. Uh, thank you very much. Yes, very uh, it's a beautiful long neck you've got, like a giraffe. Hello, uh, welcome to All About the Bass. I'm Nathan, and I'm I'm like nothing better <laughs> is whether my coffee is a warm Danish. <laughs> and here he is. Hello, everybody. It's uh, your friend of mine. It's <laughs> Pete. Hey, hey. Hello, sir. Hello, Hello darling. Cheers. Uh, nice. Cheers and cups of coffee and tea. Mm. It's true, it's so, tea actually. It's so, tea uh, actually, uh, with a little bit of uh, sharp stuff in it. Oh, yeah? We need that because today, today, I mean, Lee's, uh, Lee's not in today, Lee Boss, uh, so I'm sitting in, as you can see, so he normally wears all black. I thought I'll wear all blue, Ooh. even my shoes, right? The all blue, blue shoes, all blue. <laughs> <laughs> bit, of a, bit of a little musical joke there. And then musical journey. What album is that on? It's the uh, Miles Davis. Uh... Yes, yes, it's on yeah, that one. It's, it's don't don't ask me questions that. like that. Remember, <laughs> look stupid. Blue and green, or <laughs> all blue, probably. Okay, so Dingwall has got a new uh, bass out. Um, they have. You know, they bring a bass out all the time. They're very popular with us. Uh, that we've done the five strings. You did a video. We, with we just the... had a look, didn't we? Just had a look at their the bases. I have to say they were they were new to me. I haven't even heard of Dingwall, but I was yeah. very impressed. Yeah, I really like their their the the look and the feel of their their five strings. And we've yeah. got them here here behind us. These are the Nolly yeah. uh, series. So uh, fantastic colours they do these in. Oh, brilliant colours, uh, like Ferrari colours, aren't they? Amazing, yeah. And fan fret seems to be their sort of thing. Uh, Stop in trade. It seems to be the thing. Look, so fan frets. What? What? On a thunderbird? <laughs> On a thunderbird, yeah. So we thought, uh, when we walked in the shop today, um, we were going to do a video on this because they sent it down. And they do two different models in these. They do a custom and they do a standard one. This is the standard one as far as we are aware. Because um, <laughs> this is the custom one, apparently it's got a Wenge scratch blade on it. Yes, and this also has been stuck a on. A few so. different uh, things on it. And then we got this Gibson. The classic. The classic Thunderbird yep. custom shop. Or, to his friends, T-Bird. T-Bird. Uh, he's over there by the camera. All right! Ah! Uh, just a beautiful... It's a beautiful thing. It's very long, man. I'm, I'm like that. I can, my, my arm can hardly... When I'm sitting, look, stretched out. I can hardly, I can hardly touch the last end of the... Look. It's, guitar, it's a guitar <laughs> place, you see. It's, I'm a guitar Terrible. player. Terrible. Shocking. That's why you can hear me play these kind of riffs, like, you know. Yeah, it's, man. It's definitely a 
definitely not a. <laughs> not that's good though. Like, there's there's room for that. That's and I'm right. using a pick today because I had a little. What do you call it? Cord your cord cord Pull out. You know one of those. What? You know when a little thing cut. You oh, accidentally what, pull. Oh, down the side of Yeah, what's it called? Hangnail. Yeah, they're no, all no, really no, painful, it's, aren't they? It's like a little piece of of, of the the stuff know, comes out. I know out. what you mean. Every yeah. time I'm like, oh, 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 oh. so it's like <gasps> proper, proper, yeah. Ow, ow, ow. So uh, I might play a bit too much with the picture, but anyway, it's another guitar player. Always moaning guitar players. Always yeah. moaning. What was the what is the uh, how many guitar players does it take to screw in a light bulb? I don't know. Okay, it takes uh, what does it say? It takes one, yes, and then a thousand. Say I can do that. <laughs> Nice. It's the way you tell them. Yeah, they're completely just... <laughs> Nobody gets it. <laughs> well, I think what we're looking at, because right, yeah. the idea is supposed to be a shootout yeah. right, between these two bases. Yeah. I can already see where this is going, because, obviously, this is a classic it's base. It's classic, yeah. It's a classic base, and yeah. it does what it does, Yeah. right? Shall I run through the quick, quick through the specs? Yeah. So, look, really quickly, this is 1899, comes with a hard case. Yeah. It's a mahogany body. Yeah. Uh, it's like a nine-piece. I think they've got some... Through thing here, you can see it goes through the, the, the body all the way down. Uh, it's made in America. It's got Grover tuners on it. It's got the T Bird rhythm, T Bird lead pickups here. It's a volume, volume, tone. Very straightforward. I mean, it's very straightforward. Yeah. I think this is called a Her Heritage Cherry Burst. I love this color. It's, it's excellent. It's very nice. It looks I mean? very, uh, very vintage. Yeah, 34 inch scale length as well, rosewood board. Uh, tectoid knot. I mean, it's very simple. Yes. I mean, it's a, it's a piece of wood with some stuff on it, right? Yeah, but you know, if that's what you want, yeah, that's what you should get. Yeah, right. Yeah, absolutely. Now, this is a, what I would say is a modern take on that. It's the future. Comes it, straight from the future. It's the future. I was just going to say, where are the, uh, the, the end pins? That's quite. That's a that's a relevant question, isn't it? What's this? That is probably the end pins. Wow, I see. See, we do our research here. Um, well, we'll look into that in a minute. Um, so, yeah, this is like a modern version. It kind of is the same shape, obviously. Yeah. Uh, differences are, well, initially, uh, obviously, we've got fan frets. Yeah. Uh, and this is a thing which gives you a longer scale on the E string, which kind of tightens it up. I think that's the, the whole idea of it. Yeah, because you get that. There. Yeah, it's not so flappy on this. Yeah, you can hear this. Yeah. Well, actually, it's not, it's not too bad. It but it gets a little, yeah, it's going to hardly hit it. So we've got the fan frets. Um, also, we've got this different sort of pickup configuration, yeah. uh, which gives you more tonal variations. Tonal variations. Tonal variations. They, the um, word of the day. Uh, also, the, the first thing I noticed was it's much lighter. Oh, is it? I haven't even touched that yet. Oh wow! Yes. Yes, absolutely. Significantly lighter. But it's a thinner body. If you put look, so. Oh, it's not that. Well, it's not that much lighter, but it is a bit lighter. You're a strong man. So, but you can see the way that the Thunderbird is that it's like the same width. Here, yeah. all the way through, and then it's got it's got that little sexy uh, top there. But with the same with this one. But this is like it slides down mm. into like a thing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's more, <laughs> it's more it does more curves, it's more true. curvature Look, on it the is, neck. Yes, yeah. much so it gets thinner, thinner around the edge. Running around the edge. Mm, yeah, very that nice. A, and that's a bolt on neck, correct? It's a bolt on neck. Yes, we have four bolts right there. Hip shot, hip shot, ultra light tuners. Open gear. I love an open gear tuner. Oh yeah. Is that your favourite? I just think it looks cool. Tuna, yeah. If they you catch it, open gear, tuna. Oh yeah. yeah. Is that a... Line caught, open gear tuners. <laughs> Have you ever tried anyway. those Richard gear tuners? <laughs> Richard gear. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've seen those. It's a, uh, he, uh, yeah. You get a free hamster with each one. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, a bit of a, a bit of a flappy thing going on there. Oh well. Quality so control. It's made in China. Yes. Uh, all the parts are shipped down to China and then... Uh, so, materials from... Materials from America and Canada. OK, the USA and Canada. Yeah, and then send them down and then they build them uh, down in China. And I have to say, uh, assembled very nicely too, because this plays really well. Yeah. This is straight out of the box, this is, this is nice. It is straight out of the box, because this like is the this. first one that we have in the, um, in, in the, in the shop yet. Right. Comes in different, 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 <laughs> comes oh, in different yeah, yeah. colours. Comes in different colours. <laughs> yeah. Some really funky colours, some sparkle. Because uh, that is kind of, that, I noticed that's kind of their thing, isn't it? With yeah. the, with the, with the, 
the, the, the solid colour. But these ones are more modern take on it. I think these are going for the more traditional, Okay. you know, this kind of look. But the okay. collars are still spang dangly. If you can see up here on the, on the headstock, for instance, yeah. they do that little line here where you Ooh. get another sunburst. So this is like a matching headstock thing. So they'll do like a sparkly blue one. Lovely touch. And it'll be sparkly blue up here, isn't it? Mm. And I, I, I like it. I think it's really cool. You know, but let's hear what it sounds like. So I'm, you're plugged into a tone hammer. I am. Tone hammer 500 Acular. Yes. And I've got the new, uh, which we're stocking now as well, like a Gensler. I saw that. That yeah. looks interesting. And that cab looks amazing. Yeah, What's so going on there? So the cabs, I don't know if you can see that in the camera. We'll get a close up on it. So the cabs are kind of angled up. Not that we are talking about this, but just we might do another video. The cabs are interesting. You've got four little tweeters down the middle yeah, there yeah, yeah. and then a big one in the back. Amazing. Yeah, and then it, they're kind of angled up that way. Wow. Um, and yeah, this is some new stuff to us. Oh, it sounds array, great. Array, base array. So it's kind of a take on the PA line array. Yeah, system. you can kind of see the whole, the, 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 that's kind of angled like this and then the, the box is kind of goes slants down. Fantastic, I yeah. like that. So it's new stuff anyway, but that's on the website oh. link, so we'll put a link in it, in oh. that, to I that below. I we'll guess uh, we'll be taking a look at that very soon, right? Probably. Yeah. Probably, 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 probably. Watch this well, space. Let's hear how your Dingwall Thunderbird, so we just quickly go through mahogany, yep. body, yep. maple neck, yep. 42 uh, mil, not width. It's got a different scale length here, of course. I'm just reading up the specs there. Nickel frets, the FD3N pickups. Yes. What was the switch position? Anyway, let's hear it. Talk about the switch thing. The switch thing, uh, it's okay. Well, what we play to... and then you and you switch a bit, and we can hear it. Okay. Just, yeah. Very quickly, volume. That's simple. <laughs> Tone. That's very simple. And then in the middle, oh. four-way switch, uh, which is basically uh, at the back is the bridge. The back. And then in second position is the bridge and middle. In parallel. Yes. What does that mean? Oh, you know. <laughs> yeah. In parallel. Middle. Middle. Yeah. Position four. Yeah. All of them, all at once. Maximum, just maximum <laughs> base. Fudge. Okay, yeah. let's hear it. Do you want to hear it? Yeah, I would love to hear it okay. into your tone hammer. Okay. 500. Well, look, are you... Are no, you, I'm not going to... You're I'm not going to do that. You, no. You're not interested in that, are you? Uh, you don't want your head round like this area. I uh, know. The, the head there and twiddle with your knobs. Okay. I think I'll, just, I think I'll sit here and just enjoy well, the view. I, 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 <laughs> just play a bit, see what the tone control does first, and then fiddle about a bit. All right, I will. Tone off. Come on, old boy. Uh, we'll go for something a bit rocky then. Great. Sounds pretty varied tonally. Yeah, there's loads of tonal tones in there. The tonal tones. <laughs> yeah. That's my favourite. Allow favorite. myself to introduce <laughs> myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, uh, because uh, you know, I think it's 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 not um, it's certainly not one dimensional. This bass tonally. It looks three dimensional to me almost. There's definitely four. it's definitely got three dimensions. <laughs> Although it's quite thin, so it's barely three dimensional. <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, you can get lots of because I think people. You know, they're going to want to play rock on this, maybe. Maybe they're going to do some other stuff, you know. Yeah. These days, people aren't just a one-style trick pony, are they? So, no, uh, and it's great you can get something that looks a bit more... A bit... I mean, this is very traditional, but this is like getting a... This is like having a... I don't know, but it's like getting something that... And like a, a Fiat 500. This is the old Fiat 500. Yes, and, and this is the, the new... That's the new kind of... That's an interesting, retro... interesting analogy. Yeah. Yeah. Not the, yeah, maybe a bath, yeah, actually. It's like maybe in a bath person. It's just tuned up a bit. But it's, it's like brought into the 21st century yeah. in a new sort of 
funky, updated version of it, you know? Yeah. And then people still want the traditional stuff. Okay, now... What does that one sound like, yes, then? You, I want you to play the same thing right. as you just did, so let's just swap these. Okie dokie. Check out those, um... Let's just swap quickly over, and then I'll sit with this, because I'll play this out then. So, check out these new funky cables we got. Yeah, so, in case you can see where they are. They're very nice. You're not going to leave those at the gig, are you? <laughs> no. You know what I mean? Or maybe you are. And this is great. This is like old sort of 1960s iron flex. I love that. You know, the yeah. old racks. Good old Ernie Ball sent us some new cables, which is great because we wear through them quite quickly. Wow, this is much more slinky, isn't it? It is it, much more slinky. It is more slinky. Although, I have to say, this has got a very, uh, very narrow yeah, it's, it's uh, neck a, on it. You know, it's, it's very kind of... That's def uh, that neck is definitely skinnier. I think it's one and... One and a half. Yes, it definitely feels inch. it. One but, and a half but, inch. But a bit chunkier, sort of. Uh... Well, let's see what it sounds like. So you've got volume for each pickup and then the tone. Simple. Yes, yeah, it's very simple. It's volume yeah. for that one, volume for that one, tongue. So, here we go. Back pickup first. I better do the old pick thing, I guess. Ooh. Hello. That's... That's a bit honkier, isn't it? A bit louder. Yeah. And we all right with that over there, the old uh, input level. Give it a bit of a punk. So, yes. wow, uh, how about yeah, that? Yeah, we just had to check. Uh, we just had to check the levels because there's there was more. It's more and more level in those pickups. There's a lot more level coming out yeah. of this bass. Have that you got the tone true. on full now? Have you back the tone? No, up? that's back. That's off. Back okay. So back. So tone up. It's making the amp overdrive. Obviously, that's a game thing, but uh, wow, that's a lot more level coming out of those babies. Yeah. You know what I mean? So there you go. So that's a, that's a, actually, yeah, that's one. There's your rock. Well, there's, there's your one. rock. Yeah. You know. Right there. Uh, front pickup, front pickup. It's equally loud. Both. I like that, it's nice, you can dig in on that. I think we're looking at very two different bases here. I think we're looking at bases that kind of look the same, but, uh, yeah. but uh, uh, really performing different jobs. Yeah. Um, you know. That's yeah. That, that, that surprised me that that had so much more. Can I just quickly try? Well, I'll I play think it balls, minute, balls, balls is the word you're looking for. Balls. Balls. It's funny, you don't really notice those fan frets, do you? No, and no, that's the funny thing. It's so simple. It's not like you're, oh my god, oh my god. So it's just no, completely don't... natural. It just sits with the hand yeah. perfectly. Don't look, just don't look and freak yourself out. No, it's, it's, it's really easy to play. Because I, I certainly don't own a fan fret bass, but when I come in here and play them, I never have a problem with it. So uh... I like this, I think this is very cool. It's very different. It's, very it's a very different they're, they're, bass. This is what I'm saying. They're totally different. Yeah. This is this is just a rock, but this is rock. Yeah, you want that down here, Rah! and let's go. And lower. I want it lower than that. I want it down here. I want to dig a hole yeah. in the floor and put it in the hole. Yeah, that's how low I want it. Don't dig a hole and put it in the hole. That's just weird. But you, so, but it is more money. This is thirteen hundred and fifty. Yeah, that's the price we have at the moment. Yes. So just check out the links below just for to make sure that's right. It doesn't come with a gig back or anything like that. Okay, so, so you're going to have to factor that. So you're going to have to, you know, get a nice gig back for it. And I can imagine getting a big gig back for a big bass like this might just, you know, or case. It's kind of a, a bigger thing, isn't it? So and it's a funny shape, and mm. I'm not sure if it fits in that. That's eight hundred ninety nine pounds. That's a lot of money for a bass. How many? Eight nine, eighteen ninety nine. Eighteen ninety nine. So yeah, yeah. So, yeah just... so it's made in America. You know, it's all the good Gibson stuff. You oh, got some yeah. ropes with fingerboard, all of that different stuff. Where this is Paul Ferro, yeah, which is you know it's kind of a, a, a rosewood thingy. But we did me and Mick Taylor did a video on could we tell the difference? And you it's, you can't tell the difference. I mean, it feels a tiny bit different. This actually feels a bit more smooth than one we had. 
was a bit more hairy. Mm. You know, it's, it feels like there's a bit of hair on it. Right. You know, which some people like a bit of hair on it, but you yeah. know, no. just shave it. Yeah, that's it. But you, I can tell if you if from sitting with that before, I can tell, I can tell that it's the details. You've got a satin finish satin on that finish neck. neck. This is gloss, obviously. Yeah. Uh, so there's definitely. I can see where the money has gone into this. Yeah. You know, with the lacquer and the little yeah. bits and pieces. So. And also, it's it's all it's all US of A. So uh, you know, yeah. that's more of an investment, I guess. Yeah. Well, good uh, good components of this Sutcraft. These they probably come with the nuts that you just click in. Yes. Put on your strap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I I, I, but I, I do like it. But I really like it too. Yeah. But Matt it's funny because what I wasn't expecting was to get this one and then go, oh, hang on, oh, I really like this too. Yeah. So, you know, I think in, in conclusion, like a. I said before. Which one would you put in conclusion? Which one would you have? I, don't know, oh. I, I think it depends what the gig was, to be honest with you. Yeah. It really does. If I needed something versatile, I'd get that one. If I was going to do different styles of music, yeah, yeah. if I was going to do a rock gig, I, I think I'd, I'd probably get this one. Yeah. Just because it's, it's classic rock. Leather jacket, days. some holes, holy jeans. A fake leather jacket, obviously. A fake leather jacket? Yeah. What's the point in that? Oh, you know, that's too long to go into here. The vegan stuff. Well, somebody's eating the cow already, so you might as well make a jacket out of his skin, right? Ha! Let's, <laughs> let's, let's not open this can of worms right now. Brexit, Donald Trump, wall, <laughs> immigrants. Right. OK, so uh, there you are, then. Yeah, you... I, you know, I mean, the thing is, you know, one isn't better than the other. They're just, they're both really good. I mean, that's a really nice bass. I think it's yeah. made great. It plays great. Yeah. Um, it's light. It's, it's, you know, it, to play. It's light. It's, it's got a lovely right. long scale. It's got the fan fret thing going for it. It's got lots of different tones in it. That's yeah. great. This is just a classic rock bass. Yeah. Um, look the same. Two different basses, so... Whichever one you uh, prefer, go and buy that. If you want to buy any of them, if you buy something else, that's cool as well. Yeah, I, we like them both, right? Yeah. Absolutely. I think they're both great. They've both got the thumbs up. Yeah. Thumbs up! Thank you for watching. Yes, thank you very much. Hope yes. you've enjoyed it. If you have, come back and see us. <laughs> you can always uh, click the link. I'll say this and every if you haven't, right. you Do you click know what? I never below. know what this means. Click the link. Does that work? Click the link below. Click yeah, we the put link links on. on. We put links on to this yeah, but and there's the, the link amps. on what? I'm watching it on my telly. What do I got on the telly? I'll start pressing it and nothing happens. Yeah, but that's if you're watching on Smart TV, then you might have a difficulty clicking the link unless you have a browser uh, installed on your Smart TV. I've got a black and white TV. It's got just a... <laughs> I bet you have. That's you probably only pay a black and white, license, white license fee as well. Don't Do you, you know in the UK there's still eight thousand uh, black and white TV license holders? Yeah, because they're they because they just they got oh, a little bit cheaper. That's why they're there, and I they're probably what, vegans or as well. Maybe they just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can't have colour TVs, man. Oh no, colour colours. Not colours. We can't do colours. That's that's against, you know. Colours. Colours kills animals. Colours Santanas. Right. <laughs> OK, then, let's jam out. Nice to see you all. We'll oh, see yeah, you next we were, time. we were saying goodbye. Sorry. <laughs> Bye, then. See you next time.